channel. I will be talking about whatever I fucking want. Steven Crowder is a right-wing conservative who is known for a lot of things. Recently, it's been mentioned that he was abusing his wife. Not physically, of course, but verbally abusing her. But before I get to that, let me bring up a 5-minute clip of Steven Crowder and I will respond to each point. Uh, I have been living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side, and no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. Well, good. She's an adult who has the right to decide for herself if she wants to divorce a man like yourself. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. Yes, Stephen, you're right. Children do need a mom and dad, but they don't want an abuser for a father. A divorce can be horrible, but you can't be with your abusive spouse forever. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest, as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. And all this, one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless, completely without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Okay, it's great that you decided back in 2021 to resolve it privately. But why are you deciding to talk about it now? Do you not honor what's best for your ch kids when you just promised you weren't going to bring up your divorce to the public, to the internet public eye? Because that's what it seems to me. Now, the other issue is and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long. Um, many other people knew about this behind the scenes. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage, knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children included keeping it private. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Stephen has a lot going on, I guess is the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation, not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, maybe if I feel in further defense, something should be said, or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances. Oh, my children have a right to privacy. I'm not a fan of Candace Owens 
nor am I a fan of you and many right fingers. But why would you bring up Candace Owens for what she said back in January 2013? I don't get why you thought it was a good idea to do this. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, inferences have been more pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife in a difficult time that it could be used, knowingly putting my children in harm's way. So to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes, which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. By demands and threats, do you actually mean evidence? Because I can think of plenty of evidence that some people might have against you, Stephen. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children, kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it. Won't forget it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out, and the law says that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong, and that's certainly not the fault of my children. Oh, okay, great. Glad you admitted that it is not your fault not your children's fault, and not your wife's fault. Good for you taking responsibility for your actions. But again, maybe don't actually talk about the divorce. And uh, I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, is not internet drama, speculation, certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother, and I can't be clear on that enough, or their mother through the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children, discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. I'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have more than full confidence. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further than that. What I think is the best for your children is that you shouldn't say anything about it. If you love them a whole lot more, you would delete this five minute response on your Twitter account and keep quiet about your divorce. That's what's best for your kids and that's exactly how you're gonna protect them. All right, so this statement from Hillary's family says, Kelly is currently living in, alone in Dallas, apart from her family and support system in Michigan, and is focused on taking care of her young children. She is not prepared at this time to speak about her divorce becoming public or the, misle the misleading statements made by Stephen about their relationship. The truth is that Kelly spent years hiding Stephen's mentality and emotionally abusive behavior 
from her friends and family while she attempted to save their marriage. She was the one who was asking to work on their relationship to keep their marriage intact for their unborn children. In June of 2021, Stephen left their home to pursue elective surgery. Hurley urged him to get the help he needed to address his abuse with the hope that their marriage could be saved and they could peacefully live together as a family. Instead, Stephen refused to do so and chose not to be with his wife during the birth of their twin children. After the birth, Stephen brought a townhouse and left their home permanently. Hurley was unaware that Stephen had hired a divorce attorney and asked his assistant to cut Hurley off financially. There is significant documentation substantiating these facts. We hope that Stephen will cease speaking publicly about these personal matters in a untruthful manner. We also look forward to there being full transparency in the legal process so there is fairness and accountability for the actions that caused the divorce and to ensure the outcome is what is in the best interest of the young children. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abuses and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do life with things, then I will go pick up the groceries. Why wouldn't you give your wife your car or at least buy her one? That's quite abusive and cruel. A, a husband like yourself should share the car with the wife who doesn't have the money to purchase her own car because she is too focused focused on maybe paying her bills, buying food, diapers, or maybe it's because she's tired and cannot do much of the wifely things you are forcing her to do, which elevates to have more stress on her and the baby she's carrying inside her womb. Steaks! Wood pellets! My grill! I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect me? Yes, I do man. I do man. You see, love of that. No, no. I do man. No, you're not taking the car. Steven, you're not taking the car. Steven, you are not then taking Then I will ask them to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not correct, Steven. Give it an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. Do, feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. No, Steven Crowder. Are you respecting your wife? Because you won't let her take the car that you're sharing with her. You're demanding her to stay put. She wants to go outside and do things. Why can't you just let her be reasonable? Why can't you just be reasonable with purely and let her take the car? Like she ain't gonna box you in. She just she just needs some time for herself. Like an independent woman should do. 
or you'll be back when you're back. It doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between one life being set to the second and you're going to be back on back? Student? And then keep going. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the only way out of it is discipline and respect. If the only way out of it, then we're at an impact. We are going to be past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. Uh, yeah. Actually, it does work because Hillary is gonna be. is gonna head back home when they're. She is done shopping. Your life ain't always going to be the first, Stephen. You really cannot just cater to you and only you every day. That's not how mar a marriage works. And you are the one who can't have any respect and discipline because you're an out of control abusive husband. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse Watch it. is sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. Watch it, Steven. Watch it. Fucking watch it. Your abuse is sick. Very sick. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need to get. And we need to just stop and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you, and the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be disciplined about it, you go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. A husband who actually loves his wife isn't supposed to be controlling, manipulative, rude, and abusive. That's why she doesn't love you as much as she used to. It's not fair to her, and it's disingenuous of you to be this way. Hillary, you're right, right in past. Become someone, as you did, day in and day out, worthy of a wife, worthy. No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get text me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you, I'm committed to you, are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to Are you committed enough to do those things? things? You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you, I'm committed to you. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? I, are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm gonna just the dogs. Put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dogs? Don't you take take that in? A wife is only worthy if her abusive husband isn't controlling. And the husband is only worthy if he ain't abusive to his wife. Steven, you're not committed to a marriage, a respectful marriage. Your soon-to-be-divorced wife was committed to you, but you have been a controlling rabbit dog freak who's been demanding his wife like a slave. Quit pressuring her. I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look, broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court, well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. 
So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. Again, you should not have commented on your divorce. You were told not to comment on anything about your divorce. So you broke the court order. And the video you're obviously commenting on being leaks wasn't a leak. It was video proof of what you've been verbally abusing your wife for. And you already broke your soon-to-be ex-wife's family's wishes so that you will not speak at all about this. So you haven't respected any privacy agreements of all parties. So saying that you're going to address all irrefutable legal records is absolutely reprehensible of you. The bottom line here is that you are supposed to treat your wife as a human being. And that does mean that you have to be compassionate, be flexible, and be willing to have patience. You also just need to be nicer and not demanding. Otherwise, you'll just have to get a divorce because whenever you're an abuser, no matter if you're a wife and you abuse your husband or if you're a husband and you abuse your wife, then one thing's clear to get out of this marriage. And you have the right to be free from the person who broke your wedding, your wedding vows because that person does not love or cherish you.